We watched Cam Newton swagger in as the Heisman Trophy winner here to this beautiful place in Glendale. And we thought of Vince Young five years ago in USC, his charisma, his confidence, just so contagious. Well, Michael James would have a very frustrating evening for the Oregon Ducks, also a Heisman finalist with the ultimate prize up for grabs. Boy, kind of a, a skittish, sketchy first quarter for the quarterbacks. Kirk, Darren Thomas off the hands of Kenyon Barber. Not a great throw. And Devon Washington with the pick. Well, with all the talk and all the hype about the two offenses, these two defenses were out to prove that they could play some football, too, and they capitalized on some mistakes by both these quarterbacks here. Good job, Cliff Harris stepping up, making a big play. This is, I think, a, a route where quarterback Newton thought that his receiver Adams was going to cut that route off a little bit early, makes the mistake, and Harris is there to capitalize. But then Zach Etheridge picks off Darren Thomas, a miscommunication with the receiver. Nick, what's going on out well, here? We, you know, we really talked about turnovers, and this was an especially costly one because it's in the red zone and you take points off the board. But really, somebody made an error up front because you let somebody run through the A-gap like Nick Fairley. You know, he's going to affect the quarterback. So uh, they ended up getting a pick and leaving some points on the board there. Scoreless first quarter. Auburn would finally get things going. And Cody Burns, the ex-quarterback, left wide open by Oregon. With, with all the success to the perimeter in the run game, here's a little pump fake to the outside. Eddie Pleasant comes up and bites on it. In fact, Boyette, the other safety, comes up too. And that's why you had Cody Burns make that move in space, hit the vertical seam. How about this call? After a reverse and the kickoff return doesn't work, the very first play, Chip Kelly throws deep, and Thomas finds Jeff Mayo for 71, Urban. Nothing like launching a post down a field of both your feet in the end zone. And that was after, you know, that's the way Chip Kelly calls a game. That was the first time I've got to see Oregon live, and it's an aggressive play caller. Didn't score until third down. They leave LaMichael James wide open. It's a great job of taking advantage of an overly aggressive defense in the red zone. This time they went back, threw it back against the grain and against the defense, and James walks into the end zone. How about aggressive? The two-point conversion on the option, Urban. They steal a point here. Now this uh, they stole a point. This was a difference in the game. I mean, this got them to, if he kicked the uh, extra point there, they lose the game. It's the kicker, Rob Beer, taking the pitch from the punter, Jackson Rice. 11 7 is the crazy score at this point. Then Cam Newton would get going in the second half. You just can't stop him on third and short, usually. Well, I think that's a great advantage for Auburn, and I think the the physical play that Auburn had on both sides of the ball in the line was really the difference of the game. And uh, I think when you get in these short yardage situations, Cam Newton is really something else. Oh, but they outthink it. They try to throw it. Eric Smith wide open the short arm. Hey, well, that, that's Auburn's version of the jump pass. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. there is wide open and, and uh, should have made that play. Oregon would take over at the one yard line after the stop there. A penalty nullified a gain on first down, and that was huge because LaMichael James is stopped, not by Nick Fairley, but by his backup there, Mike Blanc. Mike Blanc makes a great play. In order to be able to prevent this from being a safety, LaMichael James needed to extend the entire football across the goal line. Clearly, you can see from that shot, he did not do that. Auburn picks up two points. So but a yeah. two-point lead, and here comes Newton right back to work, and a wide-open receiver. How does the defensive end going to cover a receiver there? Well, they, they brought field pressure, but they run they ran this pattern two or three times in a Game. We call it a little wheel route into the boundary. Uh, they motioned a formation into the boundary. The, 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 the flat defender there, who's the linebacker, has to run with the through and take the guy. He didn't pick him up this time, and he doesn't take him the next time. We're going to see that one, too. No team has ever lost a BCS championship game after leading at halftime. You can make it now 12-0. and Auburn would, would finally get rolling here. Lutzen Kirk it for 39 yards. There's Kenny Rowe again, 40 yards downfield, trying to cover a, you know either a back or a receiver. Coach, it, again, it, he can't do that. A flat defender can't go 40 yards downfield. Right. It's the same play, different formation grouping, different player doing it. Uh, they were in the same coverage, and the same the same outside linebacker needed to take them. They got a field goal to Auburn, so it was a nine-point game. Again, fairly burst through, forces the fumble on Thomas. Oregon got it back. It's the story of the, of the entire football game. Over and over, Fairley and company up front just dominating the battle in the trenches. But Chip Kelly again, a gamble on special teams as Jackson writes the punter. They defend him, but Marvin Johnson sneaks free. Nice touch by the punter first down. What is up with a, you know, a kicker that can get to the corner and get in there for a two-point <laughs> conversion? The punter showing patience. Great call here by Chip Kelly. The very next play, the Auburn defense has to come out in 2 and eight adjusts and uses every bit of his frame at 6-5 to make a big catch. But McNeil made a touchdown-saving tackle inside the five-yard line. That, that would game. prove to be huge in this game. And that's why you always want to play the next play. 
Barner stopped on first and goal. Again, the inability to get a push up front against Fairley and company. And the one thing you notice is Oregon keeps running lateral. Mm. All, the, all four of these plays, it's yeah. all east-west instead of north-south. James was out of the game as his hand was being checked out, and Barner just could not get the ball. Kelly gambles on fourth down. Again, they're stopped short. And it's Nick Fairley again. He gets the penetration. He gets uh, enough of a push back from that offensive line, back into the backfield. Interesting. First and second down the same play. Third and fourth down the same play by Oregon. But Oregon's I think offense I, held, I, held scoreless 38 minutes of this game. Now we're in the fourth quarter. Auburn still up 19-11. Newton scrambling. It's a and great, the big play they needed. They got the fumble by Casey Matthews. Great play by Casey Matthews to punch that ball out. You know, Cam's got the habit of swinging that ball a little bit when he gets in space and he hits it from the back and it's a great play. And this, 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 this turnover really got Oregon back in the game. Defense have been hanging on and hanging on for dear life. So a one possession game. Oregon from the Auburn 40 and third and five, two and a open just out of his reach. Yeah, he was open. He had his man beat. This is an interesting play right here where they come underneath. Watch the umpire play a big part <laughs> in actually setting a pick here. That's pick here. knocked off. Yeah, he, Etheridge gets in the way of the umpire. The umpire gets in the way of him, depending on who you're a fan of. Bottom line is you get the ball downfield, and now they pick up huge yards to Davis inside but, the 10. Yeah, but again, it was tough sledding down inside the five. They have to go to the third and one shovel pass to James to get in the end zone. This is always a great red zone play. The difference between this play and the other one, that's gap blocking. You're still getting movement. That's an off I saw it four play. years ago in this building with you guys against Ohio State. The two-point conversion, it's the dependable Jeff Mayo leaping to make the catch. And he knew exactly where he wanted to go with his football. The play was developing just perfectly. Mayo was lined up way to the right. He comes all the way back to the left. You could see Thomas waiting. It was almost as if he didn't even look. He was just throwing it to a spot. Mayo was there. The sure-handed receiver made the play. Somehow Kelly's team even at 19, but Nick, you told us Auburn definitely going to get Adam scored. It wasn't necessarily Newton. It was the freshman Michael Dyer busting loose. Look at this. It's going to be a five-yard play, right? Everybody huh? freezes. A frozen moment for all 22 players until the sideline told him you didn't go That's down. the thing. If, if, if Because the Auburn sideline was close enough to be able to yell to him to keep going, I think he would have quit on the play. In fact, he did quit on the play, and clearly he is not down, but the Auburn sideline that helps the true freshman continue to run down the field. But th this is a great example of uh, of a guy having great balance and body control to be able to finish this run. The bench did help him. Oregon's players should be more aware to finish the play, but it, it changed the field That's position and, yeah. and, and, and put the ball in field goal range. Three plays later, Dyer appears to score. They called it a touchdown, reviewed it. This time the call was overturned as his knee did hit just short of the goal line. Well, Dyer just had a huge game. We thought he and Newton would be a factor in the interior part of the Oregon defense and running the football inside. Turns out Dyer was a force today. Interesting call here. It's first and goal from the one on the final seconds. Byram's so dependable. They don't just try to take a knee. I mean, Newton tries to sneak it in there, risks a fumble, but instead it's Byram. And a senior who you can expect to step up and make easy field goals and tough field goals to win games. The sixth of his career. career. Think about that. And a walk-off field goal to win a BCS championship. <laughs> <laughs> Those players forever known are national champions from here on out. That's right. Remember it forever. Night belongs to so many heroes on the Auburn side. Chip Kelly in anguish. Close. But it's Newton, Dyer, and an Auburn defense that's able to hold Oregon to 30 points under their average. And back in Auburn. Tumor's quarter roll with TP. The crystal ball held into the night here in Glendale. A shout of War Eagle from Chiswick. And Cam Newton punctuates just an absolutely brilliant individual season. Heisman Trophy, a bunch of other awards, a national championship. Even though he finished this game banged up and had to go to extras, he was slammed to the ground and wasn't feeling too good at the end of the game. Then again, he wasn't feeling any pain either. <laughs> As Auburn caps the perfect season, 22-19, the program's first national title in more than a half century.